Welcome, ladies and MFing gentlemen, to <clears throat> your magical moon message, moon in Aquarius, sun in Scorpio. This is the first quarter square breakthrough in the breakthrough transformative arc season Scorpio that's going to pick you up to speed and how fucked you are no, joking, on how deep a lot of these seemingly unrelated social collective conflicts actually have everything to do with you and tie you into everything. Think of an indirect finesse that captures your attention to give you the impression that certain somebody is being focused on, but the trick is really you and how you respond to make you feel like you're just an observer, but actually the trick is to get your attention, okay? You're gonna be more keyed into the power of your purchasing dollar or your attention that you pay than ever. Moon in Aquarius is gonna provide the understanding of advanced knowledge with the Sun in Scorpio that will enable you to align the purity of transformation towards what direction you're breaking through. And given that the moon in Capricorn helped us understand what direction to, with our integrity, align with the activation of this, the seeds that we sowed in Scorpio in the form of new wisdom is breaking through the ground with the understanding of knowledge and the total Saturnian knowledge that goes into what wisdom that the fourth house will help you understand, okay? That means relative to the newness of the new moon that was growing seeds through the soil, we're now breaking through a very advanced, knowledgeable, collective, sociological understanding of what the transformation that we're all going through uh, has to do for the collective at large, and most importantly, you. So, I really hope that at this crucial period, you are not falling for false narratives that demonize individuals for speaking up about what majority of people are thinking. Case in point, if you believe that Kanye West is anti-Semitic or anti-Black, you have serious problems and you are very, very much so influenced by the collective narratives. This is not me saying this as a fan of Ye or as an enemy of Ye. This is me trying to tell you that this has absolutely nothing to do with Kanye West. If you're looking at the, the, the narratives online and on the phone and you think this has anything to do with Kanye, with Trump, with any of these people that they're having to demonize so that they can make an example out of these people, you, you really don't get that this is about you. This is actually about what people can do to you. So you can get stuck on one level of the, and I tell you it's an illusion because realistically speaking, look at all the people who are angry at what Kanye West has said. What does that do for their lives? Really, you're watching grown men and women backwards rationalize the most inane subjective opinions about a man and about topics that have nothing to do with them. That's what I'm saying. Like if you're falling for this shit, a transit like this is going to uplift you out of the whole purpose of what all these conflicts are meant to teach you as an individual and then again as a part of a collective. Okay. And you want to continue to see this trend intensify because now hands have been shown and we're going to see a very quick reversal. For example, Everything that you've seen, and when I say this, this isn't about yay, so this applies to you too. Everything that you've seen, you're going to see over the next two weeks a complete backtracking because people will start to realize the hypocrisy and holes around this very extreme move. It's not a coincidence that everything that happened to him happened while Mercury was square Pluto. And so it seems that the actions against him were extreme in that they were also hypocritical. And this is where I don't want you to think about how this affects and is a hypocritical to yay. See how in your life you're dealing with this too. 
He's just the individual representative of what you may think. He, as a Gemini, represents free, conscious ideas. It's not a war against him. It's a war against Gemini that you have in your chart, too. Case in point, if anyone else said what Ye said, something similar would happen to them. So it's not about Ye. That's the most important thing I want you to really remember here. And so the knowledge you're going to be understanding is going to be helping you break through how you're transforming your personal social environments. It's easy to ridicule and criticize stuff I say and provide no facts, but just echo chambers that feed your cognitive dissonance. But that just proves what people like us have been saying all along. And for the whole notion that people who have proven what he said, you're going to see that all moon in Aquarius. You're going to see that all moon in Pisces. You're going to see that all moon in Aries leading into the full moon in Taurus, which is going to work a whole reversal. Remember, this is coming from the same guy who said at another Astro World Festival tragedy. I'm the only one who predicted this, by the way. Another Astro World Festival tragedy is going to happen. I said this over and over. And sure enough, it happened because your boy don't miss. Bro, I'm about to start giving out lottery numbers now. Should I start doing that? I should just start giving lottery numbers away at the end of every magic move. Today's lottery numbers are 25, 55, 7, 2, and 6. You don't owe me any money if you win. Just let me know, okay? I, let, let's not to start getting like that. And the bonus number 8. But I'm totally just joking. Don't take, don't, don't, please, don't, please don't, don't, please don't think I'm letting this get to my head. I'm just having fun with this. This is just, this is just me fucking around. But other than that, this is going to provide such amazing evidence of your growth psychologically, of how you revisit situations that might have intimidated you before. But this total Saturnian Aquarian knowledge of what you're transforming and how you're transforming and breaking through is going to prepare for the full expression of divine, supernatural, metaphysical understanding with the moon in Pisces. And so the moon in Aquarius has to provide the lines before you color them in in Pisces. It has to provide the structure, the Saturnian knowledgeable structure for you to transform this operating system that you're downloading more updated knowledge as we do every month that the moon goes through here. So stand up for controversial opinions that you have. Stand up for the truth that won't be accepted from others. Whereas other people are cowards and will stop when there's that resistance, you must keep going in that direction. And that's how you break through. Those who break through during this breakthrough arc go beyond what is comfortable for them outside their comfort zone and step into the controversial, hence transformation, which creates new. And after the aftermath, we come see the light in Sagittarius season. So don't get caught up in false narratives, red herring fallacies, and as you'll see for the rest of the week, the most ridiculously created straw men that have ever existed. Let me tell you how these elites, let me tell you how horribly and low these elites look at you. For two years, they ostracized almost all of you by saying that you're useless if you don't listen to them. Every step of the way, you all called them out, saying that we didn't need to do any of these mandates. Even though they knew they were lying, even though they knew the bullshit they were doing, and just like we all predicted, now they want to ask you for amnesty. There's no way we could have known that we were wrong, even though all of you went out of your way to tell us, even though we jeopardized your livelihood and jobs. Please forgive us. They're not asking you for your forgiveness. They're publicly forgiving themselves. This is how little these people look down on you. It doesn't matter if you agree with them or disagree with them. So if you're still looking at this like us versus them, you don't get it. It's not us versus them. It's everybody getting fucked here. For your enemy is not flesh and blood. So these elites themselves that are being puppets for these dark forces to be used to, they'll get betrayed too at the end of the day. They're not getting shit. They sold their soul. The only thing that they know moving forward is the lake of fire and eternal damnation. You don't have to believe that. It's a frequency thing. And when you don't treat your neighbor like your neighbor and you try and assert 
these identity politics that are pushed by classism. You have a whole awakening world of a silent majority of people who aren't commenting these false narratives, but they're ready to move. So this moon in Saturn Aquarius is going to help you understand your role in this revolution. And it's going to uplift you out of the whole petty dynamics between other people who you don't agree with stuff about. Because you're going to realize whether you want to be or not, you're on the same side. You're on the side of the alive and the breathing. And whether you agree with certain opinions or not, you're going to have to deal with your differences to get through this stage together. Or die trying. It is what it is. Because some people are going to choose death. Some people are going to choose life with their actions. Do you do you uh, accept the reality of this new world or are you denying it in order to stick with this old world with its false narratives? Less and less people are believing the bullshit and it's going to be a pivotal transit like this that uh, breaks everyone through into understanding that. Anyway, check out my Twitter because I made another prediction and so far I'm one in five. I predicted that there would be a data leak, okay, and see... I'm starting to like these predictions are breaking through to the point where it's no longer coincidence. You can't just say that I got lucky. I'm like, I went six and five the other week. Like, I, and the reason why I'm sharing this is because everything that I'm breaking out, science has said this isn't possible. But I predicted six, six things out of five, went six and five. I predicted shit last week. All that shit came true. And I predicted this week there would be a data leak. There wasn't a data leak last week. There wasn't a data leak two weeks ago. There wasn't a data leak three, three weeks ago. But the week that I predicted that there's a data leak, the DHS has leaked information about how there was suppression of information around voter and vaccines. So check that out. Okay, on one in five, we'll see if the other predictions come true. Well, they've been coming true fast. The reason why I'm bold and speaking about this is it's Uranian. It's Neptunian. It's seen as supernatural when really divination or prediction like this is just a basic ability. But what I'm using my platform to show is to disillusion and demystify a lot of the fake science and materialist reductionist bullshit that we have been lied to our whole lives in school. So you remember that the reason why I can predict these things isn't really because I'm some special being that's greater than you. It's because I have a soul and you have a soul too. And with the spirits that our souls produce, it is a nonlinear energetic ethereal force that's not limited by the physical that enables me to produce seemingly interesting uh experiences like this i don't consider myself special because i predicted this the whole purpose of me doing these predictions is to show you that you can do this too i'm demystifying it out of so it's being something psychic and something being more science because this is really just based on common sense and logic to be completely honest uh, other than that, and of course, the prediction's intuition. So just like I'm exercising my intuition, you're exercising your intuition. And you're going to gain more total knowledgeable understanding than ever of how to continue to transform into a greater level of ascension, harnessing this awakening of higher capabilities. So anything that you didn't know about your superpowers that you broke through with the moon and Capricorn, you're going to understand fully. And you really want to allow yourself, meditation will help, but you really just want to allow yourself to listen to the collective. Because whether people agree with you or disagree with you, they're inadvertently going to give you the answers you didn't even know you seek. If you don't listen to them individually but you listen to them as a part of a whole where each person is giving you a different piece of the puzzle and you yourself as well. I don't know what to tell. Once we get to the full moon in Taurus, shit's going to get bonkers. Bonkers! You hear me? So I want you to see that this Scorpio... Remember, I told you guys. I said this live. I said this on a few magic moon messages. The reason why I made it a point to mention that the astral world tragedy was going to happen is because of the notion of excess death. When I predicted, I predicted the astral world tragedy... The day it happened, there's proof of this. Watch my Venus and Capricorn transit talk. I'm the only one who predicted that. And the reason I did is to let you know that death is a real conscious force. And you're going to be more aware of this than ever. And this should make you serious to make sure you're not living a lie. And that you're really aligned with the truth. Because this shit's about to get 
bonkers. The fact that I predicted that last year and this this year means that we are hyper accelerating into more intensity than ever. And if you're caught up in false narratives, you're not going to be ready when, when war just continues to kick off. But if you stay true, if you stay aligned with you, regardless of how crazy other people feel that is, then you'll be at the right place you're supposed to be when you're meant to be there. Shout out to the Ruby Express line. That's what that is. Godspeed, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.